tip line 844 Jam 1010. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the ones. Breaking traffic alerts whenever they happen. I'm Jody Bell. 1010 wins at 92.3 FM. I'm attorney Rich Barnes. If you've been in a car crash, choosing the right firm is crucial to get the help you need and the best result possible. Well, we couldn't have asked for a better Thanksgiving Day forecast. Let's get the latest on what's to come now from meteorologist John Ferrick. Yeah, it looks like things are going to go downhill a little bit as we head into tomorrow, but uh, still pretty nice out there this evening. A part of the mostly cloudy sky for tonight down to 44 in Midtown, closer to 40 in a few suburbs. And then tomorrow morning, if you are planning on heading out and doing some holiday shopping, probably should keep the umbrella handy as uh, there will be some rain at times tomorrow morning. But then we'll dry out tomorrow afternoon. A high 52, and then mostly cloudy tomorrow night, the low 38, and sunshine for Saturday. Breeze up to 55. Then Sunday, a big travel day. We're dry to start, but it does look like rain comes in in the afternoon, the high 54. Right now in Central Park, we've got 51 and mostly clear. Going down to 44 tonight in Midtown. Mackey Weather Meteorologist John Fierick on New York's weather station, 1010 Winds the 92.3 FM. This fall, there are now updated COVID-19 booster shots designed for recent Omicron variants. Learn more and schedule your updated booster at vaccines.gov. Wins News Time 433 in New York City. Swifties, listen up. Place on Cornelia Street, I sit casually in the car. Taylor Swift's former Cornelia Street townhouse is now up for rent for a whopping $45,000 a month. Swift fans already know about it from her 2019 song, Cornelia Street, about how she'd rented that home back in 2016 while her Tribeca pad was being renovated. Some accidents can be good things, and this one has led to a Thanksgiving tradition that's now in its seventh year. When Wanda Dench got her grandson's number wrong in a Thanksgiving text message seven years ago. Little did she know she was starting a new tradition. Then, 17 years old, Jamal Hinton got the text inviting him to Thanksgiving dinner. He didn't recognize the number, and after a little back and forth, Wanda realized her mistake. When Jamal cheekily asked, can I still get a plate? She said yes, and the two have sat down together every Thanksgiving since. Very nice, and that was correspondent Elaine Cobb. A new Guinness World Record has been set for the oldest living cat. It goes to flossing a feline now nearly 27 years old. And that's the equivalent of being up 120 in people years. The British brown and black cat just got the official recognition today. And although Flossie does have trouble seeing and is deaf, otherwise her owner says she's in pretty good health. Well, there's a Thanksgiving recall from Ford to tell you about. Ford is alerting owners in the U.S. of over half a million 2020 to 2023 by Broncos Ford and Escape models that they should visit a dealership to inspect for a potential cracked fuel injector that could cause a fire under the hood. Ford says when the engine is operating, fuel or fuel vapor could accumulate near hot areas and then the vehicles can ignite. Ford says it will arrange for a free pickup, repair, and delivery for owners, or owners can just take their Bronco or Escape to a dealership on their own. Alex Stone, EDC News. Well, not everyone is having Thanksgiving today. For some, it's Thanksgiving. Some people won't have to sneak outside for a smoke after dinner today. They're celebrating Thanksgiving where cannabis is the key component. The New York Times reports weed-infused Thanksgiving dinners are gaining in popularity as more states legalize recreational pot. Many dinner tables feature cannabis-charged olive oil and butters, so attendees can decide which dishes to give an extra kick and by how much. Others label offerings clearly so diners know exactly what they're in for. Dank, by the way, slang for high-quality weed. And that was Deborah Rodriguez reporting. Black Panther now taking a bite out of the Thanksgiving box office. 1010 Wins Entertainment is next. Wins News Time 436. Science proves quality sleep is vital to your mental, emotional, and physical health. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed senses your movements and automatically adjusts to help keep you both effortlessly comfortable. And it's temperature balancing, so you stay cool. So you're your best for yourself and those you care about most. Life changing sleep only from Sleep Number. It's our Black Friday sale. Save 50% on the Speed Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus free home delivery on all Smart Beds when you add a base. And Cyber Monday. To learn more, go to SpeedNumber.com. 40 days up to 40 pounds. Say it with me. 40 days up to 40 pounds. With NJ Diet, it only takes 40 days to lose a contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds. NJ Diet is unlike any other diet. It's more of a health transformation rather than a weight loss program. NJ Diet uses your hair, saliva, and blood work along with bioenergetic scans to personalize supplements that will target your hormonal imbalances, which gets your body into the fat burning zone so you can lose the weight. Then NJ Diet uses DNA info to help you keep it off. Don't wait for your doctor.
doctor to give you bad news and then try to figure it out, get ahead of your health by visiting NJDiet.com today. Your weight loss can help you overcome many health issues like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, arthritis, depression, and even digestive issues. So what are you waiting for? Locations throughout the tri-state area or worldwide with live online videos. I noticed the screen going uh, blurry once in a while. So sorry about that, guys. I don't know what's causing it, but it's giving the video that mysterious effect. 438, it's time now for 1010 Wins Entertainment. I am queen of the most powerful nation in the world, and my entire family is gone. Black Panther 2 is still tops at the box office of this Thanksgiving. The superhero sequel, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, picked up another 10 million yesterday on tap to earn 63 million over the five day weekend. Another Disney film, though, called Strange World, is bombing, grossing a disappointing $4 million yesterday. He's back. Grammer is making a long-awaited return as Dr. Fraser Crane, but David Hyde Pierce, who played his beloved neurotic brother Niles, will not be reprising his role. Grammer says in the end, Hyde Pierce just wasn't interested in playing the same part again. The hit show ran on NBC from 93 to 2004. The Fraser revival is heading to Paramount Plus with rehearsals starting in February. Wins News Time 439. Top stories are next. Everything, our farm, our stand, our pop up shop, it really all started when we discovered the benefits of local raw honey for our family. And then we decided to turn it into a business. We were looking for something to help us get up and running. So we got the Chase Business Complete Banking Account. It's more than a bank account, it comes with Quick Accept, which lets us take card payments anytime, anywhere in the U.S. using the Chase mobile app. Plus, we get same day deposits at no extra cost. For us, it's more than honey. It's about sharing a little sweetness with the world. Get the Chase Business Complete Banking Account with the essentials you need to help get your business going. Learn more at chase.com backslash business dash complete dash banking. Chase for business. Make more of what's yours. Quick Accept is not available in U.S. territories. Enrollment required. Usage subject to approval. Same day deposits available for payments before 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Sunday to Friday. Fees and rates apply for checking and processing. Limitations and restrictions apply. Participants compensated. Merchant services provided by Payment Tech LLC and WePay Inc. Subsidiaries of J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Join us for the annual lighting of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree on November 30th. We are your station for the biggest New York events. 1010 wins at 92.3 FM. The news watch never stops. This is 1010 wins at 92.3 FM. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Afternoon and happy Thanksgiving. It is 51 degrees at 440. I'm Suzanne Colucci and here's what's happening. Balloons flying high and marching bands playing at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, an American tradition now nearly a century old. The Salvation Army kicks off its iconic red kettle campaign while serving up Thanksgiving breakfasts to hundreds in Hackensack. Holiday tragedy in Queens. Police say a bicyclist was killed in a hit and run. The search is on for the driver who took off. All right, guys. I'm so sorry to cut it short there on a sad note with that accident. Just wanted to let everyone know that I thank I am thankful for each and every one of you subscribers that view the videos. And I hope that you and your families have an amazing Thanksgiving day.